Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number five of the West Ham Master League series here on eFootball Pace 2020. And we've got a massive game today. We are away on Merseyside against Liverpool. So that's going to be a difficult game. And as well as that, Diego Maradona has thrown a little bit of a strop and transfer listed one of our best players. Keep watching to find out who that is. And so, before we do get into the game, I'm just going to run you through very quickly the results of the games since you was last with me. This was the game in the last episode, in case you didn't see it. 3-0 defeat against Chelsea. Awful performance. We never even looked like getting anything out of that game, to be honest. But we did follow that up with two 1-0 wins, home and away. First up against Southampton, and then against Brighton and Hove Albion. Two decent -ish performances there. Not a whole lot to be talking about in those games. But unfortunately, after that, we did then lose to Wolverhampton Wanderers. They were definitely the better team on the day. We just couldn't touch them, to be honest. And then this is the game that caused Maradona's strop. 2-0 against Man City. You might say, that's not so bad. But we were awful. Genuinely one of the worst performances I've ever had on any Pro Evo FIFA FM game ever. And when I tell you who's been transfer listed and why, you will understand. And so... Following that on, we had another defeat. This was 0-0 until the 87th minute. And then the game exploded. Sheffield United getting two goals in between the 87th and the 91st minutes. And then our sub, Mikel Antonio, got us one back in the 93rd minute to give us a little bit of hope. But we was unable to get any more chances after that. And so that again was another poor performance. And then this flatters us. This scoreline. 3-2. Arsenal 3, West Ham United 2. Our two goals were very, very scrappy. What, How we got them, I don't know. Because any decent defence would, would have kept us out. So yeah, very flattering result there. Even despite us losing... And then that leads us to the game against Norwich. 2-1. We won that game. 2-0 up at half-time. We was, but Thomas Pukki got one back within about 90 seconds of the restart. So we was very nervy. We wasn't able to push on and get any more goals. Unfortunately, but we did get the win. So that's the main thing. That rhymes. I'm a poet. And... Then, this result against Everton. Again, we just did not look very good at all. We was lucky Everton only got the one, if I'm going to be honest. And so that all leads us on to this game. We might as well stay on Merseyside over the Christmas and New Year period. Because we are back again like a renegade master. And now let's go and fill you in like Craig David back in the early noughties about what's been going on and who it is that has been transfer listed. And let's see if, if anyone can guess who it is. If you if you do get it right, let me know in the comments section down below. But yeah, you can see Maradona's had a strop on not one, but two separate things. He's changed the formation. This is going to be a team for today's game, by the way. So we're going with a 2-3-2-3. Two, three, two, three. Fabianski in goal. Balbuena and Diop as our centre-backs. Masuaku, Rice and Zabaleta as our wing-backs. And Rice obviously as a defensive midfielder. Four Nows and Noble in the middle of the pitch. Lanzini and Antonio are the wingers just behind the main striker for today. Sebastian Haller. And the guy who has been transfer listed 
is this guy, Felipe Anderson. He missed an absolute sitter at 0-0 against Man City. If he'd have scored that, we might, might have been able to hold on to get the win. He missed an absolute sitter. Uh, Maradona took him off immediately after that miss. He was that angry. He's played one more game since then. The Everton game, I think it was. And he still wasn't very good in that game. So Maradona has told him to get lost. Get out of the football club. We are just waiting for a transfer offer for him. Which I'm sure is not going to be that long in coming. So that is all the news. That is you all caught up. Let's go and get started with the game today. Away to Liverpool. Oh, one little thing I did forget to mention about the game against Everton. We had made all three subs and then Fabianski got himself sent off. And so, yeah, we're now without Fabianski for the next three games. Just to make matters even worse for us at the moment. So let's just get uh, David Martin, our third choice keeper. Let's get him on the bench. There he is. And now let's go and get started with the game against Liverpool. It's Mane with the ball on the edge of our box. Can we get this away, please? We do. Declan Rice to Haller to Lanzini. Masuaku plays it inside to Fornells. He tries to play it forward, but he gets caught straight away on the ball. And now all oh, Liverpool could be in here. Oh, what a save from Fabianski. Off Sadio Mane's shot. Zabaleta. Noble. Fornals. Masuaku. And now Masuaku plays it forward. Can Lanzini get this into the box? No, he can't. But he does win a throw in. Which is going to be taken quickly. Masuaku with the course. With the cross. And it's a goal. 1 0. Get in. Mikel Antonio. With another header. Two goals in three games for Mikel Antonio. Oh, what a nice header that was. Keep up maybe could have done a little bit better. But this is very, very nice to see. And now on the restart, it's Naby Keita to Alexander-Arnold. To Shaqiri. And all... Oh, oh, almost a very quick equaliser there. Liverpool just cutting through our defence way too easily. Zabaleta, four nows. Lanzini into Masuaku and it's two. No, it's not. Oh, I really thought that was 2-0. And maybe it should have been. Yeah, goes to Allison, And now it's Arnold on the canner. Shakiri, Come on, Masuaku, get the ball back. He, he does it by blocking it. But Liverpool get it back again. Good punch there from Jimenez. And now it's Robertson out wide again with another cross. Oh, is that an own goal? It is Fabian Balbuena with the own goal. Let's have a look at this on the replay. The ball went out wide to Robertson. He crossed it in. And I'm still not sure what happened there. Can we get another look at this? Robertson with it. And then, yeah, Balbuena has tried to clear it behind the goal. But it's taken a nasty deflection. And that is half time, people. Not a bad first half. We have absolutely held our own, if not been the better team, against Liverpool. So I'm very happy with that. If we look at the match stats, 54% to 46%. And we're exactly level on the shots and the shots on target. Three shots with two on target apiece. And so, yeah, this has given us some hope. 
we might be able to get an unlikely victory here. And now Liverpool coming forward. Mane turns D up there. But fa thankfully Balbuena is able to clear that ball and make a little a little bit or um, make a little bit up for his mistake. And now Liverpool with the shot. But it's our man Roberto with a very good save. As that goes out for a corner ball. And now Liverpool with that corner. They go short. And that was not very well done if I'm going to be honest. Oh neither was that. Neither was that clearance. But we survived for the second more of the nerves we've been talking about in recent games. Oh, Liverpool have the lead. Robbie Firmino with it. And that was made all from our own stupidity, really. And you can see Maradona maybe thinking about trying to sell somebody else. Here we are on the replay. The, thankfully, it doesn't show our absolute stupidity at the back at first. Alisson now with it. Zabaleta. Antonio. Tries to play it through and Halla. If Halla hadn't have stopped, he would have scored that surely. But now we are keeping Liverpool under all kinds of pressure. And Haller, oh, wasn't expecting to get to that. And Haller's just absolutely skied that. And let's get him off the pitch. That's two decent chances he's missed. Wow, absolutely skied that one. And now Robertson. Back to Van Dijk. Liverpool definitely trying to keep hold of the ball here. As we head the ball away. Wijnaldum to Mane out wide. He's in the box. And oh, Firmino this close to getting his second of the game. Let's get Lanzini off the pitch. And let's bring Yarmolenko on. Yarmolenko, here we go. Wilson, this is the chance. Oh, he's got nobody in the box with him. And the chance goes. Noble, Zabaleta. And oh, Antonio, why did he stop again? That's twice we've had chances to get in. But the guys have stopped their runs. And now, oh... Can Balbuena get here? Oh, oh, it's a mess up there. It's a defensive calamity. But we get the ball away. And that is the final whistle. Ah. Oh, that was a better performance than we've had for a long, long time. Maybe a draw. Might have been the best result. Really quite unlucky, I think. If it wasn't for the Balbuena own goal, we definitely would have got a point out of that, I think. As now, let's have a look at the match stats. Seven shots with five on target for Liverpool. Five, on, five shots with three on target for us. So, yeah, quite an even game. Little bit unlucky not to win it. That puts us 14th in the table on 20 points. Little bit disappointing so far this season. We are now over halfway in. So we need to start picking points up soon. Because I think our, our objective was to get into the Champions League, was it? I think it might have been either... Yeah, I think it was Champions League. From what I remember. So yeah, we really, really need to start picking up wins and picking up points. But anyway guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today guys. As you can see, we've got a couple of manager offers. 
nowhere interesting. Uh, let me just show you that before we go. Messages. Where are we? Uh, da, 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 da. Sheffield United or Union? Over in France, I think Union is. I'm not sure. So, yeah, we're not going to be taking them. But, yep, yeah, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, give me a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Pro Evo content. The Real Madrid series will be back in the next couple of days. And subscribe as well for FM20 content as soon as the beta drops. And just while we're talking about subscriptions, just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed lately. The channel has gone mental. We are, as of recording, 17 away from the target I set myself at the start of the year. So if we could maybe hit that by the end of the month, the target's 500 subs, by the way. So if we could hit that by the end of the month, a whole two months early, that would be phenomenal. So yeah, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and join the Passion for FM Discord and check their website out. All the links are going to be down below. And so yeah guys, I think that's just about everything. I shall see you next time. Bye.